Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Option, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 22nd, 2022. Well, on Friday, we had a little bit of bearish activity showing up, but what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can pick up on a little information about how we may want to approach the market for today. If you take a look here at the Dow, we had that little bit of a bearish. We gapped down and kept pushing just a little bit in the Dow. But here's the good news. If you're a bull, then no fear here just yet. As you can see, we push down into this trend, um, still holding in here, and we still have significant support levels in that chart um, below. So no particular worries. However, this morning, as you can see, we got a little bit of bearishness coming in. Those bears kind of showing their teeth this morning, pushing down. So now that we have kind of pulled back from that resistance level in the chart, we will now begin the battle here at support to see whether or not those bulls will defend and bounce right off of that. Now, as you can see in this uh, trend right here, we will break that trend this morning. So I don't expect the bulls to give up easily, um, even though um, I, I, I have believed that we have been way overbought for a period of time and I'm prepared on the short side um, here for this pullback. Um, I, I wouldn't rule out the possibility that we get a pretty strong bounce. So as we push down here this morning, don't rule out that possibility that those bulls will fight here at um, this support level and we could catch a bit of a bounce back up. So kind of keep that in mind. However, if we were to break this support and then start pushing back for this next level of price support down in here, well, then there might be a little bit more fear that kind of comes into the market and we'll have to rely on that support in this trend to this trend break to hold us um, in that price action. Um, if we take a look at our moving averages, our moving averages, you can see here on the weekly, this is what I was talking about, that resistance in the chart. But I also want to point out that rarely do we you know, just shoot up and hit that point and then just fall all the way back down. We're likely to bounce back up here. Notice we could be coming back up and test this um, again. What you will want to be watching for in that possible rally back up is will we be able, when and if it begins, if we start bouncing back up, if we happen to make a lower high, that'll be the problem here. If we push back up to the double top, that's also a potential problem that we'll wanna be watching for. Remember, the real selling always comes in after a failure at a high. Right now, this first move to the upside, remember we're upside trend, we don't have a bearish pattern here yet in the diamonds. So nothing to fear here at the moment, but, Obviously, if you chased in at the last little bit, as I was warning before, might be feeling some pain this morning. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also pulling back. We had a little bit more of a consolidation there, and as you can see, pulling back a little bit of bearishness in that chart. And one of the reasons this is so important is what we're seeing is a lot of pressure on the tech sector because of these rising bond yields. These bond yields continue, uh, continued on Friday to rally up. And although they're pulling back ever so slightly this morning, um, they are still, still very high. Now you'll wanna take a look right in here. We did break that little trend on Friday here in the SPY. So pushing back into this support level will be kind of an interesting test of that support. Um, will we bounce off of that and hold this upside trend or will that slip? And I'm not really sure just yet, but I, I do have to, ha I just have that sneaky suspicion that those bulls are not going to give up here pretty, very easily. Um, even though the threat of um, aggressive rate increases and a hawkish Fed um, is creeping back up. And I think the realization to everyone that inflation has not gone away. 
um, there could be a little bit of a battle going on right here at that price support. So watch that close. And then if we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ pressure yet on Friday was um, also equally strong in um, those rising bond yields creating some issues here in that chart. And again, it's going to be very, very important how we deal with this price support level in the chart. We have a couple in here. If I could make this line really wide, it would be the top side right in here, the bottom side down in here on that support. So we've got kind of a wide area where we could gain a little bit of support, but you can see those bears are a little bit aggressive here this morning. And unfortunately, this morning with that gap down, we may be giving up this um, trend break. So we want to watch that carefully. And if those bonds continue to be um, aggressively, the, the yields uh, continue to stay aggressively strong, that could be problematic here for the NASDAQ. And then if we take a look at our IWM, the old rut well, it's pulling back pretty sharply here, as you can see, struggling just a little bit, pushing down into some price support levels. Again, no harm, no foul yet. Um, certainly a break of the trend, but nothing major here yet, as long as we can hold on to these price support levels. If those bulls come in and fight here, we could be in really good shape. Now, let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX, um, obviously, probably going to perk up a little bit this morning and as you saw we're perk we kind of popped up here a little bit on Friday and I've mentioned this before that um, this downtrend has not broken yet so no no worries going into Friday however this morning with a gap down we may see that uh, that downtrend break here just a little bit. But I'm gonna repeat this again. I don't think we're going to have a major problem unless we see a hold of that downtrend break. So for example, we pop up here and hold, or if we break through this area up here around the 25 handle and hold up here, that's where the real selling will start. So at, if we just break that downtrend and pop up in here and hold that area of resistance, I don't know that that's going to be a major issue for us, but we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Remember, I have said that there's a bit of complacency that it built into the market. And so sometimes with that complacency, we get that shock to a lot of folks that were chasing into the market. And that can bring on um, some pretty ugly days of selling if um, they panic here. Hopefully there's no panic, but watch carefully. And then if we take a look at T21, oh, Whoops, T2122, our four-week uh, four new high, new low ratio here. As you can see, pulled back pretty sharply on Friday. So those bears were a, a bit more aggressive. And you'll also see that we have still have that opportunity to move down. Now, one of the reasons I suggest we couldn't get a substantial bounce here today, I'm guessing we're going to be right down here at the open this morning. Um, so watch that closely. If we bounce all the way down in here, that's a pretty sharp reaction. And as I've said, I've never seen a time when we were up here that we didn't eventually come down. And um, we may be doing that all at once here this morning. Now, when we go with a big, strong move like that, you can often get that reactionary bounce, kind of like a the dead cat bounce that everyone talks about. So look for that possibility that after the gap down this morning, we could bounce up and it, they could even be a pretty aggressive bounce up here this morning. What's going to be critical is how we test or um, how that price action plays out. Is it a lower high? Is it a double hot top? Do we break back through that resistance? I don't know. So we'll have to watch that, but I do expect maybe a possibility of a bounce. Now keep in mind, we can stay oversold for a period of time as well as we were overbought up here. So you can see we can linger down here for a period of time as well. If we bounce down in here and there's really no inspiration, we can hang out here for just a bit as they press down. Remember when we move up really, really sharply, we get over exuberant to the upside and we kind of stretch a trend out, then we run into that possibility that the seller could last a little
little bit longer than we'd like to see as well. Let's take a look at our T2107. Our T2107 certainly pulled back on Friday, but no breakdowns at all. Um, this is going to be critical here as we come back in these tests. Will we hold some of these support areas in the chart and will we hold this trend break um, to the upside. Now, we, we did know that we were getting a little bit extreme, a little long in the tooth on the rally. So if this gets a little bit heavy in the selling, don't be too surprised. Um, as long as we can hold this level right in here, I think we'd be okay for that potential bounce back. I'm not saying that we go th um, up, through the, up through that resistance to new highs, but that we could get a relief bounce. And then if we look at T2108, whoops. T2108 also was in this extreme upside area, very, very elevated. And certainly uh, the bulls were in control, but now the pullback could bring in some aggressive selling and like we're seeing this morning. So what's gonna be critical here is that we hold this trend break in that chart and we hold on to some of these support levels in here. We don't wanna see this breaking all the way back down. Um, I'm guessing that it could be a little bit rough this morning on that move, but if we pull back down into here, um, then once again, I think we'll probably catch some kind of a relief bounce um, to the upside. Not saying that that'll hold, and I'm not saying that we're going to bounce back up through new highs, but watch that carefully. And then if we take a look at our T2101, T2101 pulled back a little bit here on Friday, but I don't know. I, I, I'm not. I'm not really overconfident that we're getting really great data out of this. Um, on these charts. Notice that Friday was a light volume day. It just not, you know, um, just not giving us a, a big um, change in that volume that would say the bears are really taking over. So a um, little bit of a spike there on the spy and our QQQ felt a little bit of pressure there as well, just because I think of those bond yields creating some issues for them. So not a big push in that volume that really, you know, that really inspired um, me to, to kind of say, yeah, bears are taking over. Um, We'll see how they deal with support levels first before we kind of talk about um, that coming into play. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for this week. Our economic calendar today is extremely light, not almost nothing going on. But if you've been paying attention to the news, we've got the Jackson Hole Symposium coming up. So throughout this week, we're going to get lots and lots of talking head gabbing going on. So we'll want to watch that. That could create a lot of volatility um, with some of their comments. Um, but notice here today we've got, you know, three and six month bond auctions. Not a whole lot in here to move the market, but we will want to pay attention because... PMI and new home sales definitely can move the market. Durable goods um, um, will certainly be um, something to pay attention to. And what we've seen here recently is petroleum, ha our supplies are declining. So that is a bit of an issue here. That could start um, holding those um, energy prices a little bit higher. That could be problematic. Let's watch that close. And then on Thursday, we're going to have GDP and jobless claims. That'll be interesting. And then, of course, international trade and personal income and outlays at the end of the week. We're going to have a Jerome Powell speech in there. So, you know, we know that that can always create um, considerable volatility in the market. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar, pretty light this week. It's not, it's not really a big deal all week. There will be some notables here throughout the week, um, um, certainly. But today we're starting pretty light. We've got about 30, a little over 30 companies on the calendar. About 20 of them are confirmed. Most of them are the very small cap that aren't going to move the market at all. So I've only got three stocks that I've got out here for notables for to this morning, and I don't expect them to be, you know, super market moving. Um, 
NDSN will be reporting today. Now this has been on a cr incredible rally to the upside. This will be an important report to, to find out whether we will attack some of these resistance levels above or if we start pulling back to some of those support areas. We've got Pan W that will be uh, Palo Alto that will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. Palo Alto has been struggling here a little bit in a consolidation, but nothing, um, nothing really bearish. Notice we've got a little higher lows starting to happen in here. So that little wedge in here, we'll find out from that report whether we're going to pop that resistance or if we're going to break that little upside trend. And then we've got Zoom Mobile. Now Zoom Mobile has recently received some downgrades um pretty ugly chart here as you can see back below a hundred so this will be an important earnings report to see whether or not we can pop back through some of these resistance levels in the charter if we're going to come on down and retest some lows here so keep an eye on zoom mobile let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me that favor click those thumbs up buttons leave a brief comment I truly truly appreciate it and thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that and also thank you so much for folks that continue to support the channel through buy me a coffee link just right below the title of video as well so with that let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you need to do your own due diligence you need to be watching and being very careful about how you deal with these trades because of the volatility of this market anything is possible so make sure you understand the risk and never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea let's take a look at a couple charts in here um i've been keeping an eye here on cisco after its gap up earnings re um, report and you can see in this pullback that's going on here in cisco we may come back into this trend right here and the price support right through this area so let's watch that closely and see if we can hold this area in here of support and then i've been looking to see if this can catch the, uh, that next entry signal in here and maybe start perking that up to the upside. So keep an eye on Cisco. You might wanna keep an eye on some of these defensive sector stocks as well. My goodness, they have had um, quite a showing here recently. Um, I don't know what is necessarily inspiring the defensive sector, except maybe the fact that institutions might not be quite as supportive of this, of this rally um, as we might have expected. And you can see we're pushing up here towards some pretty high levels in these charts. Now, don't rule out the possibility that resistance is gonna hold these in a consolidation or even pull them back. But I gotta point out, there's a lot of these. PepsiCo, new highs um, in the chart. We talked about Hormel um, several times here over the last couple of weeks. And you can see Hormel, holding in there nice and strong, nice upside trend food um, seems to be a strong theme here in the um, in these charts. Take a look at Hershey. Hershey um, showing lots of strength here in this pre-market. Looks like we're gapped down and we're surging all the way back up here. So keep an eye on Hershey. There's quite a few of those defensive sector stocks um, looking good. Take a look at a stock like Kroger grocery store. This thing has been beaten down pretty hard, but you can see now coming up through this downtrend, holding some higher lows. So if this rests or pulls back into this trend, watch for that next opportunity in Kroger for some of those upside moves. And then I think one of the places that we might want to be watching here just a little bit is tech. Um, and, and honestly, I'm not going to be all that supportive of tech here right now. Um, with the bond prices the way they are, any rally back in here on some of these stocks, if we hit some resistance and show a lower high or a failure pattern, I would be watching some of these tech sector stocks for potential short uh, levels in the chart. Now, Apple may be an exception to that. Um, Apple just continues to get 
all kinds of love here in the market, even though there are lots of clues that the consumers are pulling back here pretty substantially with uh, car repos rising so sharply. Rents and food are um, capitalizing the, the majority of consumers' money. And as you can see, this will be an interesting little test up here if we start to fail um, in that chart. This is a pretty high level for Apple and any rest or pullback in here could catch that bounce, but the trick will be whether or not it can get back through that resistance or if it happens to make a lower high or double top up here. So watch some of those carefully. There could be some of those running into a bit of a problem. If we take a look at a stock like Nvidia, it's also already breaking down a little bit from a bit of a high point here in the chart. So we'll wanna watch that carefully. If this breaks on down below this support level, then we'll look for any rally back to potentially follow that downtrend to the downside. So maybe some of those big techs may be running into a little bit of trouble here. So with that, guys, I'm running short on time this morning. I'm a little bit late, so I'm going to cut this video off here. I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you all the best.